Hey everybody, it's Susan Ye here. I um, am doing a video for uh, Boston Girl Bridget. Uh, she has put out a challenge for doing makeup during this stay at home virus. And uh, I didn't do a get ready with me. My bathroom's a little too crowded, um, too small to do a video in the bathroom. So, wow, I did a really bad job. Um, <laughs> uh, I am 51 years old and uh, have a lot of 51-year-old uh, problems uh, with my skin right now. I never had skin problems before until I reached just about 50. Uh, my two daughters made me throw out all my makeup and now I buy a little bit better quality um, stuff. So I'm gonna tell you basically what my routine is when I actually put makeup on. Right now I'm having a really bad outbreak. Um, I was tested for lupus, the test came up negative. Uh, every time I go out in the sun though I get really bad skin rashes um, and I'm putting sunscreen on and I'm trying to use protection. I don't, I don't know what the deal is. I do have autoimmune diseases. I have fibromyalgia and I have uh, RA. Uh, who doesn't have something, right? So anyway, uh, I'm working. I'm working at it. So I wanted to show you the things that I use. Um, like I said, you know, my eyesight's not that great either. That's why I have these lovely bug eyes. They help me see better, but you can't really wear them while you're putting your makeup on. So, um, I start out, we, um, like I said, my daughters, my daughters provide for me sometimes. And I got, um, this, I think for Christmas, a whole bunch of this, this is the Ulta, um, primer, face primer with mineral oil. So I start with that after, you know, I kind of wash my face off. And then, um, I really like NARS, uh, foundation. NARS foundation works really well for my skin. Um, it's a little bit more pricey than stuff you buy at the um, drugstore. Oh, okay, oops, never shook it. Um, but it works, it covers, I get, like I said, I get rashes, I get really red, red skin. So the NARS really helps for that. And I do feel better when I have makeup on it. It makes me a little bit more productive, makes me feel, I don't know, it's weird, it's like energetic, so. Um, so there's NARS. I also have a friend who um, sells Mary Kay and I used to use Mary Kay all the time. Maybe that's why my skin was so good. It, it's actually a really good product. Um, and I just met with her a little while ago and this I also use. I have a little bit of a combination of both on my skin right now. Um, and this is the TimeWise Matte 3D Foundation. Um, it comes a lot of, you know, you see blush right now, but um, I, I get really red right here. And uh, this calms it down and uh, cools it off. It, you know, hot, hot flashes and all that jazz. And um, then I, don't, I can't even pronounce this. Koki Professional Illuminating Concealer. Um, my youngest daughter gave me this. Works great. Um, helps. I get um, hooded eyes. And right here, just really baggy. I don't sleep very much. So, and I put a little bit here on the rash just to calm that red down. It's driving me absolutely crazy. Uh, let's see, what else? Okay, so um, I, I have barely there eyebrows and my favorite um, thing that I use is the e.l.f. eyebrow pencil. I love it. I bought like five of them at once just so I wouldn't run out. This is my favorite. Um, Mary Kay does have an eyebrow tint that I used that works really well too. Um, I might actually have to purchase that. Um, now I, I have a feeling this, um, I, I absolutely love the application of this right here, this roller lash that I got from Ipsy. Uh, I put it on today. The problem is I get really bad bloodshot red eyes the next day and I wash I wash it off thoroughly at night but for some reason I wake up and my eyes are like pasted together and so it might be an allergic reaction we're going to find out today if it is I'm going to throw it out um, but I, I really do like it but not what it does to me if this is the culprit um, and again Ipsy I love Ipsy because you can get trial size products and if you don't really like them 
you know, you don't have to worry about it. But um, I've found a lot of products that I actually go to Ulta and buy after I've received them from Ipsy. And uh, I absolutely love this. This is um, Auto Bomb Girl Powder Cheeks on the Go. And I love the color and I love the velvety smoothness, the way it goes on. It's absolutely wonderful. I just, I just love the feel of it. So I've been using that. And um, as a highlighter, well, let me go through my eyeshadow first. So here's my lovely eyes. Um, again, old lady issues. Um, my favorite palette I got at TJ Maxx for, I can't remember how much I paid for this palette, but it was much cheaper than it would be anywhere else. And it's uh, Too Faced Chocolate Bonbons. And uh, it's my favorite so far. And that's what I'm wearing on my eyes today. Uh, you can see what I use more than anything. I use this highlighter on up here um, under the brow bone or on the brow bone right underneath the brows. Um, I use Bordeaux for the crease. I use uh, Totally Fetch. Wait. Yes, Totally Fetch for the outer part of the lid. And I use cotton candy for the inner part of the lid. And I, I love it. This is my favorite palette. I have uh, quite a few palettes that have these kind of colors in them. So I'm just going to use this one for now. This is my everyday routine makeup. Um, this is new from Ipsy. It's called Sex Kitten. It's a liquid eyeliner. I don't know how well I put it on because, you know, I can't see that well. So I'm hoping I did okay. And then for a highlighter, I also got this at, um, I shouldn't say I got this. My boyfriend got this for me at TJ Maxx. We love TJ Maxx. And you can buy a lot of uh, high-end makeup there for less. Um, uh, watch Graveyard Girl. She does a lot of reviews of makeup from TJ Maxx. And uh, she, she spots the imposters and things like that. And um, this is not an imposter. This is great. This is uh, Anastasia. Uh, Beverly Hills Moon Moonchild Glow Kit, and I use this for highlighters. Um, right now, I'm using the Pink Heart here, here, and up here. Um, I've used all of them. Uh, I really like mixing it up. Mostly, I use the uh, Pink Heart and Blue Ice, uh, and and I like it. It's really it's really cool. It brightens my face up, makes me feel good. What else? Oh. Um, and to keep, I sweat a lot, uh, hot flashes and all that good stuff. So this stuff was also sent to me from um, Ipsy, and it's called Banana Setting Powder. And I use this at the very end to make sure everything kind of stays on. So it's really good stuff. I love it. Um, let's see. For the hair, my hair's, um, I washed it yesterday. And uh, I, I don't take the time to curl. Like normally, if I don't brush it, I've brushed it so it's kind of frizzy right now. But normally I do, um, I just scrunch it up after I wash it and I get these curls. And uh, today it's just kind of frizzing. Um, but I use this also from um, Ipsy. It's pretty good. It's uh, Mark Anthony True Professional Coconut Oil and Shea Butter. It's a hydrating curl cream. It says it eliminates frizz. I'm still a little frizzy, but like I said, I, I, I brushed it and I have this big, big brush right here. And so it's just, it's going to be frizzy. It's just going to be frizzy. That's, that's, that's the way it works. Um, I did dye it though, cause I was getting really gray. Uh, also I want to tell y'all about, um, this fragrance right here I get at CVS. And um, this is the older bottle. I've got a new one upstairs. Um, I used to buy them. I used to buy like five or six at a time because I thought they were going to sell out at some point. Um, and this last time I bought, they only had one. So uh, this is Happy, Perfect Sense Happy. And it actually <laughs> makes me pretty happy. It smells good. So I try to put this on every day and it cheers me up. And then Dana and I found this Vaseline. It's brand new. Um, and it, it really does calm and heal you, and the smell is amazing. And um, we've got one down here for hands, one upstairs for the bedroom for, you know, <laughs> for, <laughs> wow, I didn't mean to go there. Um, for, for, you know, 
right before you go to bed, shoulders, hands. Yeah, run with that. Okay, so um, that's pretty much my skincare routine when I do put it on. Um, like I said, my face has been really angry lately. So, uh, you know, what are you going to do? And um, I normally wear my glasses, so I can't see. I can't see y'all. Um, I also wanted to talk about a product. My niece, um, I, I've used them before. A friend of mine, a uh, former friend, um, <laughs> had gotten them for me. I don't know. My nails are kind of junky right now. Um, but this is called Color Street. And basically, they're little tabs that you open, pull, put on your nails. It's actual fingernail polish. You don't have to wait for it to dry. You just place it on the nail, file your nail, and it's awesome. And so I, I really enjoy these. My, my youngest daughter and I did them last weekend. Um, not, I didn't get to see her this weekend. Um, and she loves it because it's instant gratification. So, um, and it, you don't have to wait for it to dry. Um, this is the color color I have on now. This is called Zen. And the, the company I think I said already is called Color Street. This is one that I just got. And I just ordered a few more um, because I really like them. Now, these are $13 a pack, um, which is, is a bit, for me, that's a, a little bit expensive, but less than a manicure. Uh, and it lasts, well, it, it lasted about a week. I, I do better on my left hand because, you know, you're using your your dominant hand. Um, my right hand's a little junky right now. Um, now at Walmart, you can get, this one here is called uh, Dashing Diva Gloss. You can get them, sim they're very similar. I, I think um, Color Street works better. Um, but this was, I wanna say this might've been $10. So it's, it's up there too. Uh, and then uh, Coconut, is another brand um, for um, nail polish app applique application. Um, it's it's not a sticker. It's nail polish. So when you put it on, it actually smells like nail polish. It's it's got that feel, and um, it it's really cool. So this is another brand. This is a little bit less expensive. I think this was maybe five dollars maybe six i'm not 100 percent sure the price isn't on it so this is a uh, coconut nail art um and it works pretty good but like i said i really i really like um this is another one from color street and i just ordered a whole bunch more like mermaid um pattern and uh i love blues so i ordered a lot of blues so um well a lot yeah it's right now i think it's buy three get one free so um and and they're like i said they're a little pricey they're 13 dollars. there's some that are like 11 um but i really like the way they they go on um there's a lot of sparkly ones that they have and that's about that so um i i guess i'm done like i i hope you enjoy this um there's my face yeah lovely uh ooh, so many wrinkles <laughs> I'm not used to seeing myself with, I, I mean, I think I look better with the glasses on sometimes, so, you know, we'll see. Oh, and here we go. Like, there you go, Bridget. Woo, Boston. All right, everybody have a wonderful day. Support each other. Try not to be jerks. <laughs> and I'll see you in the chats. Bye.